So, F1 2017 has been announced to release on August 25th, 2017, with uh, the return of the classic F1 cars, as well as an even deeper career mode, numerous multiplayer enchantments, and a brand new championships game mode. Basically, it's just telling us on a bollocks, really. Um, it's not t the trailer that has been released has not told us a lot about the actual game itself. It has it really what it did was show off a couple of classic cars, only three. Didn't even show off the the 2017 cars, which they would have been programming uh, or sort of analysing for about what six months now. It's not even six, it's like five months, let's say five months. You would think that, you know, let, let's show off the 2017 cars, since this is Formula 1 2017. This is the game. These, these are the cars that people are going to be like playing as the most. Now, nah, fuck it, let's show off a car from, like, 1988 or something, because why the fuck not? Um, why? I, I don't really understand why they've brought classic cars back. I mean, personally, for me, I didn't use the classic cars on F1 2017, uh, not 2017, I probably won't on that game, but on F1 2015, not 2015, I'm a bottle, 2013, and I don't even think many leagues ran with classic cars anyway, so, and I, and I don't even think they were that popular anyway, to begin with. But hopefully they've actually um, made it more fun. They've done something with the classic cars that will make them more intriguing and will make people want to go back to them instead of doing it for about, or, or instead of like playing it for about two days, saying, eh, that was cool, and then just fuck off away from it. Um, an even deeper career mode. I'm personally not sure how they can make career mode even more advanced than what they already have on F1 2016. But if they can, then that's quite impressive, to say the least. Um, but really, nothing else was said about career mode apart from the fact it was just a little bit more enhanced. I believe that there's going to be some sort of guy that comes in. I think this is where the, the, like those three classic cars could come in. Is where this some sort of playboy moneybags dickhead could um, appear after you've done a race or something, and he'd be like, yo, I have a shit ton of cars because I'm the richest fuck Bernie Eccleston in the house. Um, I I've got a Ferrari F2002 that I am just keep in my garage because I'm just a savage. And I want you to test, test it because I haven't got the skill because, you know, I'm a money bags playboy. And I just want you to drive it because I'm a dickhead and I'm just gonna be nice and eh that could be about it I don't know that's what Diamant Marduk said or something about some rich t dickhead or something numerous multiplayer enchantments um honestly I hope it's just not buggy I hope they could have just said less buggy multiplayer that that would have hyped me up more than numerous multiplayer enchantments if I'm honest because really, that's not saying a lot, because they're just being a couple of teasers and a little bit of dickhead. Um, there's not much to say about multiplayer really, and that's quite disappointing, since I think multiplayer and leagues as a whole is actually growing in the community. But they haven't said much about it, there was nothing about esports either. Um, and a brand new championships game mode. Basically, it's probably going to be like championship season. They've just given it a shitter name where you just pick a driver, do a championship. There you go. That or it's going to be like a scenario mode, but they've called it championships where you've got to play out certain scenarios in championship winning cars or as a championship winning driver where you've got to reach the certain target and then you would have, have technically won the championship. For example, say if they were to bring in Red Bull 2010, you have to win the race as Sebastian Vettel and win the World Championship. Unless that was the sort of case, I'm not sure. Probably not. I'm probably hyping it up a bit more than what it really is in that sort of aspect. Other than that, F1 2017 seems a little bit dead at the moment, but we were told that this is only well, this is only a teaser trailer. So there weren't, there was no gameplay or anything, which is a little bit disappointing. 
Um, I would have liked to have seen some sort of gameplay, some sort of hot lap, but I'm sure that will come hopefully very soon. There was no news on the beta that was meant to come out, like, well, we were told about the beta nearly a month ago, or at least over a month ago, I'm, I'm not even sure. Um, so Codemasters, they're being a little bit cheeky, they're just, they've, they, they've given us a little, they, they've just shown us the tip. And they're not going to expand on the rest until maybe a month's time. The release is the 25th of August. A bit later than usual. They've usually had a more earlier summer release. So, you know, clearly this is... Uh, the, maybe they're putting more time into development, which is probably g quite good that they're doing that. So I ain't going to protest about that if it means that I'll have less bugs when I go online. Other than that, nothing to really say. Hopefully it's a good game. That's about it. That's it, really. My name's Sir Rosberg, and I'm out. Cheers.